Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147, and I de-kitted my 30 by 40 painting simplicity, beauty in simplicity. It was that way around. Um, yes, uh, no, day before yesterday, um, I de-kitted that, so it is time to kit up a new 30 by 40 or smaller, so some of them are 30 by 30, actually I do think I have a 30 by 50 in there as well, but I have all my current diamond paintings that are in my logbook here, so let's spin the wheel and see which one it chooses for today, tortoise. It looked as though it still had beauty and simplicity on that one as well. I'm sure that was blanked out. Anyway, it is tortoise, which is a round. So let's grab my round. I think this is a 30 by 30 painting. Is it? Is it? Pear? It is. It is a 30 by 30. So a little bit smaller this one is also from fan cells and it is a round so how many colors do we have we have 20 i'm very tempted to get the same storage that i had last time but let's find the diamonds first which it's a good job it's another round because this box of round diamonds which i actually can't get out with moving without moving a load of stuff is really, really full. Um, so I'm just hunting through, there it is, my little tortoise bag. So that's one smaller bag out of there, I suppose. Let's have a look at how, I don't think we have any colors that we particularly have loads of. That's probably the most, is that green one. Oh, there is a storage. Let me see how many bottles this has. This is a storage. Two, four, five. Okay, so that only has 15. So that's not going to work because that's only got 15. What about... I've not used this one for a while. How many was in this one? Two, four, six, twelve, twenty-four. So we have enough for this one. So let's do this instead. Um, so it does have DMC numbers on it this time, which is great. So let me grab some circle stickers. We'll go for those because they have the least amount on them. And I'm all for using up a sticker sheet. That's only got 15 on it, so we'll go with yellow. And I'm gonna use my purple pen to do the symbol, which I'm gonna do the biggest. So I want the symbol the biggest because that's what I'm gonna be looking at when I am actually doing the painting, which is gonna take more time than kitting it up and de-kitting it. So I want what I'm going to use the most to be the biggest. And then we want question mark. Oh, always gets me when they want me to do a star. I have to think before I do a star. And try and give it some points. Uh, D, J. And I always put a top on my J. Because that's how I write them, even if it's not how they are in here. F. Close symbol N and equals. Sorry, not close symbol, it's an open bracket, that one, isn't it? So I think these aren't hugely like all letters. In fact, there's some letters and there's some numbers. Sorry, some symbols. But I think I am going to still do the alphabets first and then do the symbols. But let me just put the DMC numbers on because then I don't have to keep referencing um, my canvas when I'm de-kitting or kitting up. I can just reference the bottles. So seven, four, five. That is if they're written on there. Are they written on there? Yes, the DMC numbers are written on there, so that makes it easier. 
823, all the numbers, 894, I'm not sure when I will start this painting. Um, I may decide to do it to take a break from um, Pegasso, but to be honest, I'm really enjoying doing Pegasso at the moment. So maybe this will be the one I will do as soon as I finish Pegasso. Who knows? But I do like having I do like having a 30 by 40 kitted up alongside a big one. Sometimes it is purely so that I can um you know, when I do finish, for example, Pegasso, I can just pick this painting up and do it again, do it straight away. There's no waiting, especially if, you know, I finish a small section on an evening and I've got more time to diamond paint. I want one there to do. Um, and sometimes it's because it is nice for a change. Okay, E, F, I'm trying to make sure I catch all the letters because they are a bit all over the place. F, G, H, J, L, M, N, O, P, Q, so we've got R, T, V, and then we've got Z, and then we'll do full stop, question mark, slash, the number symbol, equals, they're sort of primely used keyboard symbols, though that one probably is as well, and then the star. So we'll go for that order. That makes sense to me. Um, you guys may be different depending on which symbols you might use in your day-to-day -day or your working life more. You will probably, you know, consider some symbols more prominent than others. And that's fine. Do what works for you. Uh, but they do have DMC numbers written on the packets. So now I'm going to stop looking at what symbol it is and look at what DMC number it is. And this saves me having to reference this to reference this. Just takes a step out of it. This pot's quite full, so obviously needs emptying. Uh, 169 is hither. And I'm hoping that they'll all fit in pots. The only one that I'm not so sure about is 702. But I will do a readjust and put some in the spare pot if I need to. I'll just shuffle things along to make it fit in. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Because it's about the third one down. So 413. Can't see it for looking. There it is. I knew it was in there somewhere. It had to be in there somewhere. It was just a matter of where. So, 413. This should be quite quick to do once I do start it though. Because it's round, so I always do round quicker anyway. And it's only a 30 by 30, not a 30 by 40. And I actually find it quite amazing how much quicker uh, that extra 10 centimetres is or isn't, as the case may be. I can do um, 10 centimetres less by 30. can actually save quite a bit of time. Okay, 702. Let's see if you're going to fit in the letter Z. If you don't fit in, then I'll do some readjusting. And get another pot in for them but I think it will actually yes that's the benefit of little paintings they tend to de 
depending on the size of your pots, of course, they don't tend to need a lot um, of extra room unless you have a really, really heavy background of one particular colour. Then you might need extra pots for that. But for this, I don't. So seven, nine, eight. There you are. Eight. Some gorgeous colours in this one. Some really nice popping pinks coming up soon. 800. I need to chop some of these off. Trying to manage these bags is one of the hardest parts. It's just easier if they're all chopped up. Oh, got a really nice limey, yellowy green coming up as well. As well as some darker ones but let's get all these cut apart because it's not like I'm working in DMC order anyway because I've already jumbled all those up so let's make it easier for me and maybe I should cut a smaller hole and try not to drop as many on my desk Try not to make as much mess would be nice. 8.09, we have L. And then once I've got all the diamonds in the pots, I will of course get my canvas ready to how I like it. I can feel more diamonds. Yep, they were still there, hiding. Nine, three, four. That's there. Nine, three, four. I feel like all I've done is break down kits this week. <laughs> Especially because I've still got another painting that I need to break down. So I definitely feel like all I've done is break down kits. But... The benefit of, I suppose, breaking down a few kits is that I do get to kit up, which is probably my favourite out of the two. I love the whole starting a new project um, and getting to see what another painting turns out like. And I'm really pleased to actually be getting some of my smaller painting stash done. And that might be something that makes me stop doing Picasso for a little while to do this. Is that my stash, I mean my stash of big paintings is pretty epic. Um, and I am really enjoying doing big paintings. But I do feel like my stash of smaller paintings at the moment is just a little bit too big. Uh, though I could probably say that about my large paintings as well. So I do feel like I need to get a little bit of a wriggle on with some of them. And if I do get a good couple of nights of diamond painting or a couple of evenings where I do get to diamond paint, then I do find that I can actually get through some 30 by 40s or indeed 30 by 30s quite quickly so there is that benefit that I could I think the last one I got done within a week so I could potentially get this one done within a week if I took a pause on Picasso to do it decisions decisions I guess I will make the decision when I sit down to diamond paint this evening and I will, I will decide whether I fancy starting a bit of turtle um, or doing a bit more of Pegasso. Maybe I'll finish a, another strip row of Pegasso because I'm halfway through, like a, a run across. So maybe I'll finish the run across and then I'll do some of this turtle. And if I'm enjoying it, I'll continue the turtle until I've finished or tortoise. 
if I if it's you know if I'm still thinking of Picasso too much then maybe I'll go back to him for another row and do them alternate rows I guess time will tell uh, 3750. I've also been doing some of my paint gem minis as well. I've actually got one set that I've finished, so that will be my other breakdown. Oh, there is still one stuck in there. You coming to join the party? There we go. I think this might be one of my favourite colours of this painting. Uh, so this is 3819. It's like a yellowy green, more than a full on lime green, but it's definitely got that limey quality to it. Oh, that's going to be so bright when it goes on the painting. Um, 954. And then we've got one more left. And then they should all have diamonds in. which is 3021. A bit more of a boring colour, that one. A brown, but it will be needed. Helps bring the painting together. We have no 310 though. No 310, no 3865. So, you know, it's, it's not doing too bad. I do have diamonds in every pot. Some of them are a bit dark, but I do have diamonds in every pot. And I'm going to pinch the label off my bag and pop it on the on the top of here just to confirm. Because if I don't get to it straight away, um, I do want to make sure I'm getting the right diamonds before I start sticking stuff down. Because if you don't check enough, you're pretty much guaranteed that you'll have the same symbol on two canvases and you'll pick the wrong diamonds for the canvas. So I just need to prep the canvas next, which for me is to take off that clear top cover. I don't like working with these. It is a personal preference, but for me, I find myself wandering with all my diamonds. So I prefer to use cover paper sheets. So these are double-sided, I can stick either side down it hides the rest of the symbols so that I'm not constantly scanning further up the painting, trying to decide, you know, if I can see any more places to put diamonds and running away with myself. So I do straighten them up as I go to diamond paint, but I will get 12 sections I've got for that one. Maybe I'll set myself a section per day and peel back one cover and one of these and do one per day. Or knowing me, I'll probably take off three if I have the time one evening and just do the full strip before, you know, finishing up diamond painting for the night. We will see how it goes. But the Tiny Decisions app picked Tortoise for me to do for my next painting. I have had this one in my stash for quite a while. So I am not sure if it is still available. If it is, I will pop a link um, in the description below. I'll have a look and check if it's still showing on the site at least if my old link still works. If it does, I'll pop it in the description. But yes, I am, I am storming ahead with diamond painting at the moment and absolutely loving it. I know it won't happen always, but if it continues for now, I'll be happy. So that is Tortoise Kitted Up. Thank you all so much, as always, for watching and for joining me. And I'll speak to you all again soon.